I wasn't able to get good shots at all. It was it was not possible. Hey, good morning everybody! Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'll be comparing the DJI Spark, which I just got yesterday. 200 bucks more expensive in Switzerland. This one is just 450. Versus the DJI Mavic Pro, which I have for already four months. And um, yeah, let's unbox this beauty right here. First of all, I need to say I didn't expect to get a case at all and that part right here is actually the reason why I got the DJI Spark. It's just not really good to travel around. You know, usually I have my drone in here and it's like super safe in here. But like when I travel, I have my smaller bag here. I'm not sure if I have space for that whole case right here. But anyway, let's see what we have in here. Well, I'm planning to use this drone mostly to follow me around. In the case itself, there's not much space. You only have space for two more batteries and um, two propellers right here. I guess in here are a couple cables. This is the first time ever that I see the DJI Spark and I need to say the SD card and the USB port is pretty hidden It's like behind the drone right here. It just took me an hour to get my DJI Spark ready to fly and today I'm also gonna do a little bit of everything like normal skateboarding, electro skateboarding. Oh yeah, and Actinus 2 by the way has a Halloween sale right now. Um, you can get the board for $800. Normally the board would be $1,000 and on my link you can also get a 10% off. Which is not that bad, I think it's a really good deal, that's why I'm telling you guys. It's way too windy today and let's see how this drone is doing with the, with the wind because it's super super light, just 300 grams where my Mavic Pro is 730 grams. And I also have to say when I changed from like the Phantom 4 to the Mavic Pro I already thought damn that's super sketchy to fly like with wind like this. Um, and now, <laughs> that's like another level. Let's start off with the DJI Spark. You have to connect it through a Wi-Fi and the reach because of Wi-Fi is just not that good. If you have a controller you can go much far. Um, with Wi-Fi you can just go 50 meters high and 100 uh, meters away from you. And with the controller you can go 1.2 miles, which is two kilometers. And I think that's pretty far. Oh yeah, and this is a two axis gimbal right here. Let's see how this thing is working. I can't really believe it actually. You don't need much time to get this drone ready. You just turn it on, um, click on go fly. It's pretty much connected already. I didn't figure out how to change the camera quality, but I think it's 1080p with 30 frames. I have to check that again, but I feel like it's the only quality you have. The only thing you can change is auto white balance. All right, Spark, don't disappoint me. Damn. We're getting a little close to my camera. Damn. This thing is never, never as loud as the Mavic Pro. All right, let's try to fly it. I definitely need to say with a controller, it's a lot, a lot easier. But yeah, it, it handles wind really, really well, I think. But yeah, it's losing connection already. I think I'm flying back. Yeah, it's super laggy. Like, like it's, it's hard to fly like this. Me and my guys passing by. As you can hear, Mavic Pro is way, way louder. I'm not using a filter right now, but overall, I need to say the Mavic Pro works a lot better for me right now, but mainly because of the controller. You can go way further away with the controller too, but I feel like the Spark would be really, really good too with the controller. Well, I'm not using the Spark for cinematic shots. I'm gonna use it mainly for skateboarding. I even know maybe I'll sell it like quick after but <laughs> all right and now I want to fly the spark again I don't know how to point my camera down you know what I mean is this seriously not possible like this <laughs>
Well, 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 DJI Spark, you completely disappointed me. Damn, I thought this is gonna work way, way better. You definitely need a controller for this drone. For me, it's not working at all. Even with the phone, you can't even like point the camera down and like flying forward and stuff like this. That just doesn't work. You need a controller for this if you wanna do like cinematic shots. And um, the follow mode, I thought or was in the hope that it's gonna work out a little better. I'll definitely do some more shots tomorrow. I'm out of battery now. I, I can't do anything. And um, if I wanna do like a real comparison, I definitely need to control it for this. I was like, you know, it would be really cool to have a little smaller drone so I can put it in my pocket and get a quick shot sometimes. Well, I need to say I'm the most disappointed about the battery life. They say it's 15 minutes and that definitely was around 10 minutes. It's because it's so windy. I mean, on the other side, the, the Mavic Pro is holding up forever. I don't even ever feel a difference in between like wind and no wind. And it's a little windy right now. It's not like super windy, but um, yeah, the Mavic Pro is definitely can handle that super good. Well, overall, the camera quality, the gimbal is really good. There's nothing to say about that. I'm not sure. I don't think this drone is gonna work out for me at all. Well, I definitely wanna try this drone out at the Braille house and stuff and see um, if it's that thing is following me. But I feel like it's just, uh, we'll see. Uh, let's go charge this thing up. Well, don't understand me wrong, this is not the first time that I'm flying a drone without a controller. I just feel like that um, DJI is like selling that drone without a controller more as like a toy and it would still be the best drone out there um, if it's like considered as a toy. Because like for $400 you don't get anything better than, than that DJI Spark. And if you have a controller, you can get some cinematic shots and, and still have like an amazing drone and have all those features. Well, fact is, the drone is not working without the controller. That's why I'm saying don't buy the DJI Spark without that fly more combo. Welcome back to Foster City Skate Park. It's already super late. I feel like I don't have time to get my Spark up tonight. That's not gonna happen. I have like 15 minutes here to get some super good skateboarding clips together for you guys. I would say let's do this. By the way, my new merch, FabianDurik.ch. Check the link in the description. I knew that I was going to be too late, it's already dark. There's definitely no chance I would get good footage out of that spark. Not tonight. Let's sum it up real quick. DJI Mavic Pro versus DJI Spark. When it comes to the weight, 300 grams, that's super, super light. We have on both drones 12 megapixel. The highest frame rate of the Spark is 1080 and 30 frames per second. And the Mavic Pro has um, 4K 30 frames. I feel like both drones have an insanely good stabilization, even though the Spark just has a two axis gimbal. The Mavic Pro is slightly better in low light, especially the shadows, you could see more details on the Mavic. The Spark is super small, but not crazy portable. Um, I mean, especially that gimbal right here, you can't just put it like this in your backpack. You're definitely going to destroy that gimbal right here. I also need to say the range with your Wi-Fi is insanely bad. It doesn't work at all. You can't go far away at all. Um, if there was there was a little wind and it's already like super difficult to get away from you, I wasn't able to get good shots at all. It was it was not possible. On the other side, I was I had the Mavic. I was following a couple bicycle riders, no problem. I could go really really high with the controller. The Spark makes a massive jump. You can go much faster. It goes over 30 miles per hour, and you can also go much much further away over one mile, which I think is pretty amazing. Definitely need to check it out with the remote controller and see if it's as good as, as like the Mavic Pro. Um, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind like having just a small drone in my backpack. Of course it's safe in here, but it's just like too big for me to travel around. Um, I actually have to send it back home. Without a controller and the second battery, this drone is useless. I had a flight time today of nine minutes, which is pretty much nothing. Seriously, you need a second battery. And I just bought today everything I need to get this drone to work. And I'm gonna film another review 
next week. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed my comparison. If you have any questions, go ask me in the comments. And yesterday, I just dropped my new merch, FabianDurig.ch. Go check it out. Link in the description. That's like the best quality ever. I only have those shirts. I'm not making much money out of it, but I was like, if you guys wear the shirts for the first time, you will definitely love the shirts. Oh yeah, and there's something else. I'm also gonna link two Amazon links in the description of both drones. I found two special combos. Go check it out. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see each other tomorrow.